You know all about Salesforce Service Cloud, but you're stuck with the how. Well, that's what we'll figure out today. Hello everyone, I'm Shrey Sharma, your Salesforce Hulk. And I'm here to help you unlock the full potential of Salesforce. Today, I'm going to show you the easiest way to implement the Salesforce Service Cloud so you can revolutionize your customer support and wow your customers with personalized service. Let's dive right in. First things first, let's log in to your Salesforce org. Once you're in, head over to the quick find box and type in setup. Click on setup and you are one step closer to setting up your service cloud. Next in the quick find box, search for service setup assistant. Once you locate it, go ahead and click on it. This tool is your best friend for a smooth service cloud implementation. Now you'll see a toggle button. Just turn it on and watch as the status changes to in progress. Keep an eye on the progress by clicking check status because no one likes waiting in the dark, right? With the assistant on, it's time to set up your support email. Use your main support email or create a new one. Remember, this email is where all customer queries will land, triggering new cases in Salesforce. Now let's add your team. Click on add users. Enter the email addresses of all your agents or managers and assign them profiles queues and feature licenses. And there you have your team online. After that, check your app launcher. You'll find a shiny new lightning service console app ready to go. This is where your team will handle all those cases efficiently. Remember, once the assistant is on, it stays on. But don't worry, it won't mess with your other apps or configurations. This setup is quick, but for a truly tailored experience, consider bringing in the pros to customize your service cloud to fit your unique business needs. And there you have it. You've just implemented Service Cloud in the easiest way possible. There are also some things you should know and take care of before you implement Service Cloud in your business. The pricing of the Service Cloud is very affordable, starting from just $24 a month and ranging $500 a month. If you ask me personally, for a scaling business, it will be good for them to start with an enterprise plan because it will include all the essential features like case management, omni-channel routing, service contracts and entitlements, and Einstein one service for purchase. Make sure that your service cloud implementation supports multiple communication channels such as email, phone, chat, and social media. To reduce support ticket volume, you can create a comprehensive knowledge base for your self-serve customers. Don't forget to continuously update and maintain your knowledge base. With service cloud, you can implement effective case routing rules to ensure that cases are assigned to the appropriate agents based on their skills, availability, and case type. Regularly measure customer satisfaction using surveys and feedback mechanisms. You can use the customer feedback to improve your service processes and offering in the future. For quick and on-the-go support for your customers, Service Cloud is accessible on mobile devices. Now the agents can solve customer queries from anywhere in the world. If you're using other Salesforce clouds like Sales Cloud or Marketing Cloud, explore integration opportunities to streamline workflows and provide a more unified customer experience. Lastly, implementing Service Cloud to get the best results might get tricky. And that is exactly where you'll require expert help. And for that, you can book a free consultation call with us now. Our experts at Syntexa have all the right solutions for your business needs. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Salesforce tips and tricks. See you guys in the next one.